Revelation 13:11 introduces a mysterious and enigmatic figure known as the beast from the land or the false prophet. This biblical passage, found in the New Testament, specifically in the book of Revelation, is part of the apocalyptic visions given to the Apostle John. The verse reads, Then I saw another beast, coming out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, but it spoke like a dragon. The imagery presented in this verse symbolizes a deceptive force that emerges alongside the more well-known beast from the sea, which is often associated with political power. The beast from the land is characterized by its lamb-like appearance, which may initially deceive observers into thinking it is harmless and benevolent. However, its speech reveals its true nature, akin to a dragon, suggesting a sinister influence and a departure from the gentle nature. The symbolic interpretation of the two horns may vary among theologians, but commonly, they represent a form of authority or power. In this context, the dual horns could imply a deceptive mimicry of divine authority. The attempt to imitate divine attributes adds to the deceptive nature of this figure. The actions and influence of the beast from the land are further elaborated in subsequent verses of Revelation. It is said to perform great signs and wonders, deceiving the inhabitants of the earth. The purpose of these miracles is to lead people to worship the first beast, the one from the sea, and its image. This underscores the collaborative and malevolent nature of these entities, working together to assert control over humanity and divert worship from the true Creator. Theological interpretations of Revelation 13:11 vary, with some viewing it as a representation of false religious systems or ideologies that align themselves with oppressive political powers. Others see it as a symbol of deceitful leaders who manipulate people through false miracles and persuasive speech. The imagery in this biblical passage serves as a cautionary tale, warning believers to discern the true nature of influential figures and ideologies that may arise. It encourages spiritual vigilance and discernment to avoid being misled by deceptive forces that may arise in various forms throughout history. Overall, the beast from the land in Revelation 13:11 is a powerful symbol that invites contemplation and interpretation, sparking discussions on the nature of good and evil, truth and deception, and the ultimate authority that individuals choose to acknowledge and worship. The exploration of the beast from the land in Revelation 13:11. Christians can draw profound lessons from this symbolic figure. The lamb-like appearance coupled with the dragon-like speech highlights the deceptive nature of certain ideologies or individuals in the world. The cautionary message is clear. Not everything that presents itself as harmless or even benevolent is aligned with divine principles. One key lesson for Christians is the importance of discernment. The deceptive tactics of the beast from the land underscore the need for believers to be spiritually vigilant, equipped with discernment to distinguish between genuine expressions of faith and those that may lead astray. Discernment requires a deep understanding of biblical principles and a connection with the Holy Spirit, who guides believers in truth. Furthermore, the beast from the land's ability to perform signs and wonders emphasizes the power of deception through counterfeit miracles. Christians are urged to focus on the authenticity of spiritual experiences and miracles, aligning them with the teachings of Scripture. The pursuit of sensationalism, or the miraculous without a foundation in biblical truth can lead believers down a perilous path. Another crucial lesson lies in the collaborative nature of the two beasts in Revelation. The synergy between the beast from the sea and the beast from the land symbolizes the alliance between political and religious powers that manipulate and control. Christians are reminded of the potential dangers when faith is exploited for political agendas or when religious leaders compromise their principles for earthly influence. This warns against blind allegiance to any entity that distorts the principles of love, justice, and compassion that Christ embodies. Moreover, the dual horns on the beast from the land may signify a distorted form of authority. Christians are encouraged to seek genuine spiritual leadership rooted in humility, service, and a commitment to truth. The pursuit of power for its own sake, divorced from moral principles, can lead to corruption and the propagation of harmful ideologies. The narrative in Revelation calls Christians to remain steadfast in their faith. Even in the face of deceptive influences, it encourages believers to hold fast to the teachings of Christ, which emphasize love, compassion, and a commitment to justice. In the midst of political and religious upheavals, Christians are called to anchor their identity in the unchanging truth of the gospel. In summary, the beast from the land in Revelation 13:11 serves as a powerful symbol, prompting Christians to cultivate discernment, question the authenticity of spiritual experiences, and be wary of alliances between political and religious powers. 
it calls believers to uphold genuine spiritual leadership, anchored in humility and moral principles, and to remain steadfast in their faith despite the deceptive forces at play. Ultimately, the lesson is to trust in the unwavering truth of God's Word, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit in navigating the complexities of the world.